So, Celestraline Interface Technologies is a manufacturer of custom user interfaces. Okay. Those products could be uh, keyboards, keypads, touch screens. They could be output devices like speakers and things like that. Any type of a product that a uh, user would uh, use to interact with a machine. Okay. So, uh, some of the traditional products that we manufacture are keyboard assemblies. Okay. These are used in military application. Uh, this is an example of a control panel that's used in a medical ultrasound type application. This particular keyboard is one that is used in industrial applications on the factory floor. It's completely uh, waterproof and impervious to dust and other types of contaminants for harsh environments. Our company uh, does custom designs for other companies uh, to utilize on their equipment. So our name is typically never seen on another customer's products. Uh, from a marketing standpoint, uh, we see that uh, the major markets that we deal with, which is primarily medical, industrial, uh, are moving to India and they're doing uh, new efforts for not only manufacturing India for export to other countries, but they're seeing India as an emerging new growing market for them as well. So since our customers are very active in these markets, we're very interested in uh, growing with them in these markets. We have established relationships, so we're going to be uh, working with them on new product development. And because of our increased activity in India, you know, we've been here in two different trade shows, three or four different trips. Uh, we're actually starting to work with some Indian companies on development of new products to bring them some of the traditional technologies, but also some of the emerging technologies. A good example of some of the emerging technologies that we're offering are projective capacitive type switches. This is an example of a switch that has no moving parts. It has a uh, signal that's emitted from the top of the screen. This has actually got a glass surface, so it's completely sealed, impervious to uh, liquids and dust particles, but provides capacitive switching. Another new emerging technology is with touchscreen type technologies. We actually produce touchscreens that have some tactile or touch feedback. So instead of having just a visual and an audible, audible response to a touch, you actually have a physical vibration. So those are some newer technologies that uh, we're bringing to the Indian market. Okay. Okay. So just as you told me that the application ranges from hospitality to like medical, you can say, mm -hmm. to work defense, etc., etc. So uh, where are you based at, like your headquarters at? Well, the headquarters for Esterline Corporation is in the United States in okay. Bellevue, Washington. It's just outside of Seattle. That's a U.S.-based concern. That is the U.S.-based headquarters. Okay. Esterline is a $2 billion corporation, billion dollar corporation, but it only has about... 40 people in the headquarters, we have 36 different operating units around the world with probably 50 different locations. So Esterline is a very large multinational corporation. Okay, just as in you told me, like you're based out of the US. Yes. Okay, uh, any other countries that you have your partnerships in, say probably in the South Asia, so what do you have to say about it? Like, uh, is it a uh, strong potential emerging market as compared to Europe or the UK? Well, we look at China as another strong emerging market. Yeah. We have a factory in Shanghai. Okay. And, you know, a lot of our customers are moving to China okay. as well. But we also have uh, locations uh, in Western Europe okay. uh, as well. So, again, Esterline's got probably 50 physical locations around the world. 50 locations? Yes. Okay. So, this, as we can see, you are manufacturing like uh, panels for keyboard, mm -hmm. as well as for touch screen, etc., and all other devices. Mm -hmm. So, are you also into like mobile phone communication, by the way? Like, uh, we see these days mobile phones. 
is typically a rage between people in China as well as India. Like India, the second largest mobile phone population just after China. Mm -hmm. So do you have any future plans as far as mobile phone technology is concerned for no. these two countries? No, we don't. No, no at this no, moment? No, the S2Line uh, divisions that we represent are uh, supporting more industrial and medical markets. Okay. Uh, we refer to our product mix as a high mix, low volume, very, very specialized type of equipment. Uh, the markets that we don't play in would be like mobile phone markets, so uh, we really don't deal with appliances and automotive and things like that. Okay, so you are actually catering towards more, you can say, the enterprise level rather than the end consumer level. Yes, absolutely. Okay.